Bees need trees for their nectar, and in the densely populated Gaza, it's forced beekeepers to choose remote, often dangerous locations for their apiaries. Samar al -Ba says it's the reason she and many other beekeepers have had to work near the buffer zone, where they experience regular Israeli gunfire and pesticides causing them grave losses. In the 2021 war, I had 65 hives. 30 of them were killed due to Israel's firing of toxic gas and smoke grenades. This harmed the beekeeping project as a whole, especially since I work in a border area. For Summer, beekeeping is more than just a business. It's a legacy to her father, who was killed by the Israeli army, tending his apiary during an attack on farmlands in 2006. With the help of international donors, she reopened the apiary two years later. But nothing has changed, and the danger continues. Some days, Israel starts shooting and releasing gas randomly in the area. And this forces me to leave the place and leave the work of the bees. I try to go home and sometimes I hide until the shooting is over. The agriculture ministry in Gaza says 25 years ago, apiaries here used to produce more than 500 tons of honey annually. But over the past two decades, it's dramatically declined to around 160 tons a year due to the shortage of trees following Israeli attacks. They say of the estimated 20,000 existing beehives, 7,000 were destroyed during Israel's 11-day onslaught in May. Shooting at farmers and the inability of farmers to access these lands, in addition to the repeated spraying campaigns carried out by Israel, especially during March and April, often lead to the destruction of many leafy vegetables grown in the area, as well as the death of many beehives. Worldwide, disease, pesticides and global heating are some of the main reasons bee colonies die. But in Gaza, it's more about the Israeli attacks. Despite the obstacles, beekeepers like Sama are determined to deliver sweet honey to the people that live here. Nizar Sadawi, TRT World, Gaza.